So welcome back to another AV vlog. Um, this time we're going to talk about the communication in our car. So as you can see here, we have like three notes. One is the cathode, one is telemetry, and one is high side. So the cathode is used to control the airflow side of the fuel cell, whereas the high side is used to control the high side of our car, which is like the higher voltage part. And if you look up there, you can actually see our data acquisition node. Now this node is open, so you can actually see the internals. And you can see that there are actually three PCBs that together make the data acquisition node. So it's not just one PCB that controls an entire node. So when you look on our node, you can actually see that there are, for this example, five different inputs. Now JTAC is usually used for us to flash the node itself. Power can is input and some other sensors that we power the node and they actually put it through to the three individual CAN buses here. So CAN bus A and B are the bigger CAN buses. They actually connect to nodes and whatnot. And when only one CAN bus is used, we actually use B and C to connect to, for example, sensors and peripherals. So in our car, we actually have 10 different nodes right now. They all control different parts of the car and they're actually very useful because that way we have a decentralized network of nodes and that control the car and read out sensors and basically talk to each other. So thank you and we'll see you in the next vlog.